If you think about it, what if Glenn's Zaful power is active the entire time and the queen had no business telling Rumia, I hate you, I should have never birthed you, kill her. Nah, I think there was some kind of range that people were saying. But in my head, it's just so funny how maybe there was no point for her to sail that shit because of the restraints of the cursed necklace. But hey, everything is fine. Mom and daughter, they got together. They're, they're just ha they're, everyone's smiling. Everyone's fun. The kids got all drunk off of brandy chocolate or something. And Glenn, three months of salary, it's just all gone. Now, there is Real, who should be joining us, I think, right? Based on the outfits that she wears in the opening and the in ending. And there was the plot revelation of Akashic Records. Title drop happened, right? Title drop happened where the maid from the Divine Wisdom, also the castle was there. Um, they need Rumia, Amplified Powers, for the Akashic Records. What does that mean? I don't really know. Does it matter? Season 2 is not coming out, but hey, let's begin today's reaction. Oh! We're getting started strong, sissy is in the heat! What are they doing? What kind of practice are we doing? Why are you taking your clothes off? Hello? Yeah, cover yourself up, girl. <laughs> Sisty's completely full of regret. I mean, even last episode, what did I say? Drunk thought, drunk words are sober thoughts, right? She was completely wasted to flaunting on Sensei. Like, come on now. Because, I don't know, in a world of magic, the sea of falling stars. Military magic. Let's see it. The magic's dark side. This is episode 6, but like, damn, bro. Maybe it's actually beyond episode 6, but... It started off from her just shitting on and saying, I'll get my dad to fire you, and him being like, okay, get me fired, I don't want to be here. And now we're just like, bonding like crazy. So... Oh! He's just looking out for her... Oh! My favorite! Hello! Totsugeki! Always! I love her. I love Kudere girls. And like, here's an interesting thing, right? Because like, she's not really Kudere. Is she? Because, like, the traditional Kudere, I guess, is, like, um, super reserved and quiet and emotionless. But then there's, like, Kudere variants, like Tobichi Origami, where there's, like, Kudere, but then, like, emotionless and degenerate humor. And her is, like, Kudere, but stupid, right? It's, like, stupid Kudere sub-variant. There's a lot of things you can do with it. Sundere girls, I don't see many variations. Sundere girls are all just fucking annoying. And then they're uwu. But Kudere girls is like emotionless at times, but then they can vary to different subspecies. I am, I'm starting to understand the meta. New outfit for us. Transfer student! <laughs> That's an Albert's here? Hello, fellow students. But Rumia. Rumia. Don't say that in front of Sisti, the blonde, cute, super cute Rumia channel. Sisti's gonna take that personally. What? Well, okay, that's, that's crazy. To lift someone up while doing like this already hurts enough. 
to have enough force to lift them up and do it. That oh, I can't even imagine the fucking pain. Ow! All the guys and girls. Where is uh Megane? Yo, I hope Megane is keyboard is like <laughs> elbows too pointy. Three out of ten would not fuck. That's it. Maybe don't do that because she tells them their hobbies. But we... Should you say this? <laughs> Hello? She's uh, cute, but she's stupid, but she's cute. My family's dead. Oh, sad backstory. What happened at the military? Because, like, she's trying to protect him. She seems to fucking love him. She's devoted to him. Wonder what happened during the military arc. I can't compete with the teacher! No! Sisty, getting a little jealous. Night Hunting Bolt! Wow. Amazing. Wow, compliment from Sensei. I just see her swinging swords. Let's see it. They're building this up. Okay. And complete miss. She's a swordsman, right? Ooh. どうした？あと一発だぞ。これこの距離を狙える学生用の呪文はそれしかねえだろう。つまり呪文は何でも。Any spell. Sword。Damn, that's how she summons it. The aim with the sword. Oh, sword magic. Yeah, that's what she's good at. People scared of her now. Main character. Main character, I'll see. Uh, sorry, window seat, looking out. Yeah, main character. Lunch is unnecessary. Wow. Oh, is this the unreal? They're gonna slowly get to know each other? Damn, the cafeteria is stacked. Real like sweets. Of course she does. Real is too cute. Oh, my heart. <laughs> it looks like an entire pizza, actually. Look at the size of that thing, bro. I know it's a plate, but this shit just looks like a fucking tart pizza, man. Sisty loves those too? Eating noises. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to share? Wow, thanks. Real eating for 10 hours in the loop, bro. I bet that could get a million views on YouTube. Oh, she's such a cold, ruthless imperial mage, though. <laughs> Dude, look at her eat all those! I think that the most NPC of NPC characters is this guy on the far left. That dude, I swear, even in the tournament arc last episode, his only role was like cheering, I think. I swear to God, he didn't do shit, bro. Wow, she's making friends. So nice. So are we, are we implying that uh, real is uh, an, on the spectrum? Lack of socialization. She's she a little special. She's a little acoustic. She doesn't know how to act. 
proper in a social setting, and that's why she's so aloof. <laughs> What's she doing? Zerika? Interesting. Serika is like researching something in the library. She always does this. Maybe for Akashic Records. I mean, if would the Akashic Records be even fucking public knowledge in the library? Probably not. He doesn't even get a line. Bro, look at this. Of these NPC characters, both of them had a line. Cash is kind of important to the NPC. I don't know. Anyways, the, the guy on the right, he got skipped again. Everyone gets a line here except the guy on the right. They're doing him so dirty. Oh, no. Beach episode incoming. This sounds like a resort, like beach. Oh my god. God, is Serika coming? Is Serika coming? Is the queen coming? Okay, okay. I see you so I see. I take what I said back. The author was saving him for this one line. He had a dedicated moment. He had a dedicated moment. He even had a schizo fucking fantasy at the bleach. He actually got his moment. I see you <laughs> you should not say that about your students, Glenn. You're a goddamn teacher. The level of our students is high. You cannot do that as a teacher. <laughs> yes, I know he's 19 and they're like, what? You know, high school kids. He's still a teacher. Anyways, classic anime. <laughs> That's gotta be Albert, bro. That was definitely Albert. Real's a decoy? Whoa. <laughs> that transition scene. Whoa, that was so fast. Okay, Real was bait. Hmm? Oh, I know. She runs out of with a sword. There's something else? What happened in Ryo's past? She's the threat? What? Gotta be with her sibling, right? If I had a sub for every fucking person that shows up on the stream and says, Has he watched Slime? Is Slime done? Please, Slime! Slime, why are you not watching Slime? I think I would have like 50 subs today. Yeah, I think I would. <laughs> yeah, but they're your students. They're your fucking students, bro. As long as the bikinis are there. <laughs> nah, I don't give a fuck about that. I'm just here to see my students in swimsuits at base. Oh, here we go. Rumia. Of course, they put real in this fucking one piece, bro. With the name tag on it, man. Because, oh my goodness. I told you guys about this, right? I told you guys about how there's levels of degeneracy. Where, of course, the normies are going to see this and be like, oh, wow. But, like, truly, truly degenerate sees the, you know, the middle school, you know, fucking one piece suit. And they're like, hmm. There's, like, levels of degeneracy, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Guys are so happy. I'll follow you forever, Sensei! <laughs> Only thing stiff is Gibble's fucking rod. Nah, bro does not simp. Gibble don't need those thoughts. Be gone, bikini swimsuits. I'm here to fucking study magic. Locked in. It's a big. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. 
そんなにじろじろ見ないでうんうん There's nothing here though. Okay. Oh, my, I'm going to go to the house. 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 Now we start the traditional event of every field trip. Peek into the girls' dorm. Well, I guess it's tradition. Every goddamn anime. Bro, optimize the route. The sensei is probably gonna enable you guys to fucking creep on the girls. Seriously, like he's 100% gonna be like, yeah, just go do it. Here we go. <laughs> he's not gonna. He, nah, nah, he's gonna. There's a better route. The sensei has a more optimized route, right? Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Brother, it's your student! Zatur! And the girls are like, what the fuck are they doing? These are new outfits, right? Aww. She was like, but Glenn was so sad and, of course, depressed because, like, the Mage of Justice was actually bullshit and all he was was just a mass killing weapon, but now it sounds like she was like a therapist or something. She was always making him feel good, so Riel, I think, is actually my big favorite girl. How could Riel be dangerous? <laughs> But we should be careful of her. That's what Albert said. <laughs> All right, Sensei did his job. Oh, Sensei drinking. She always looks bored, but that's the coup de default face. Wow, this is a beautiful moment. Oh. Memories! Wow! Holy shit, she's actually smiling! But like, moments like this only happen... Why? Does, is anyone in the class, you know, aware of what happens when we do happy moments like this? Every fucking anime. You know? Every fucking anime. We have happy, 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 and then it's like... Psych! I baited you, motherfuckers. You thought this shit was gonna be happy? Nope. Now it's gonna be sad. <laughs> Sensei drinking, taking pictures of his students, playing at the beach. Real gone. Uh oh, real's gone. Okay. Because I don't want to kill no more. I'm just a fucking weapon, tool of destruction. She, you need to live for yourself. Yeah, quit. Brother, pursuing your own happiness. What your brother wanted, but she can't. He's dead. Somehow she feels that he, she needs to serve Glenn because Glenn reminds her of her dead brother? Is that the connection? Oh shit, a Kudere showing an emotion. Oh. Oh god. Yandere Kudere, hold the fuck up. I'll kill them. It was a Yandere all this time? What was that? There was a Kudri Yandri type. Yeah, she is a Kudri Yandri type. That's very interesting. I didn't know such a thing was possible, but... No, it is. 
Just not not all Yandere's are just fucking outgoing and crazy and fucking mommy like, right? There's gonna be like the quiet ones that they should. But what was this? Um, body. I don't know whose body that is. Some girls on the floor, flames, blood, dreams of. Uh, Glen of the past. I guess. Oh no. Who's she talking to? She's at the beach again, bro? <laughs> and that's today's episode. Damn, it was a very cunning episode, but then it was like, holy shit. Shit got so real. It was a fun beach episode and happy, happy, happy. And whenever things got happy, you know what happens? Sad, 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 or angry, angry. Real says, did they take you from me? I'm gonna kill them. And the maid of the divine wisdom is here, obviously, for the, um, what's it called? The amplifier, Rumia. She's talking to somebody on the cliff. I don't really know who that person is. Has a similar color hair as Real. Actually, Real's older brother. Real's older brother joined divine wisdom. It's the same hair bow tie. Yep, that's what's gotta be. Okay, so he's not dead. He's on the bad side. Interesting. How will this cook up? Only one way to find out. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't do this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other Playlist Rumor content. And until next time, take care.